having fun with Ed O. Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's Podcast Ed O back at it again with another video. And for today's episode, we have our 17th guest of an up and coming rapper named Manili. So here we go. Hello, everyone. It's Podcast Edo with our 17th guest named Manly. How's it going today, my man? Uh, good. It's actually uh, Manili. Manili. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that happens a lot, man, you know, but yeah, it's uh, Manili. So. Manili. Okay. Yeah, man. man. Manili. Happy- Manili. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, All it's right. cool. Siri Siri does the same thing, man. But Siri? Happy- oh, Siri, yeah, the phone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Happy to be here, though. Happy to have you here as well. So, basically, what I've heard is that you are an up-and-coming producer, correct? Um, Actually, more on the, on the uh, vocalist side, singer, right. rapper. Um, I do want to be a producer, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm also working on that, but yeah, yeah, I'm more of a like a like rapper slash singer. Um, like, oh, sorry. Yeah, but like on that note, like do you like on that note? It's like, are you making your own beats or well, or just like you know, just making rhymes and stuff like that? Well, you know, I'm using the tools that I have uh, close to me, really. So basically, I have to drive somewhere to be able to like record. As of right okay. now, I have to go to my I have to go to my uh, friend's place, so I can't record really on my own too much. Gotcha. So, uh, for yeah, yeah. So for the most part, I'm not able to make any beats uh, right now. But you know, I, like I'm beginning a laptop soon, and that's definitely something I'm going to like familiar myself with. Nice. So speaking yeah. of which, on this road. I would like to know what inspired you to start rapping on that note. Really good question, man. You know, really, really good question. You know, uh, I guess you could say my dad was probably the first inspiration for me Mm. uh, just because he would always like, he would always freestyle around us with us as me and my brother, my little brother. Hmm. And uh, it was always so fun just hearing them, you know, freestyle, kick some rhymes and shit. And um, I was like, damn, you know, like, 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 I want to do that. Um, and then there's artists as well, you know, like, like, like Outkast and um, yeah. even Akon, man. Like, like, like when Akon came out, man, I was I was the biggest Akon fan, you know, I, I, I wanted to sing and rap, you know, just like him. Um, oh. but, but of course uh you say what i'm sorry i was saying uh for the akon party where you talk about like the lockup uh when he released that right yeah man i'm talking about uh yeah and uh don't matter and yeah uh, yeah and uh, his, his his records were Khaled. right right and, uh yeah yeah, yeah. and lockup was crazy lockup was fucking insane but it's, uh, fun- <laughs> it's funny you said that because um i remember when at the time when it was released I remember, and the thing is, I knew nothing about him at the time. I remember I told my father that I was like, I think he wrote that because he was actually in jail. And then the thing was, when I watched behind the music and stuff, I was like, oh my God, I was actually right. Like, I actually just thought this was just like, oh, it's just a song, but it's like, no, he actually was in jail. And the fun fact is, um, you know, the uh, group that's called the Fugees, right? Yeah, it's another inspiration. So, fun fact, when they made the score, Akon was actually in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know yeah, that. And during that time, he actually tried to release like his own solo at that time. And unfortunately, it didn't really sell as well as the Fuji's, like the score, because that was like one of the things. And I would even imagine that also at the time, you know, the Fuji's and stuff, they were like, hyping the album up and stuff like that for his first project, but it literally didn't even, it did. It literally didn't even, I don't even, if I remember, it didn't even chart anything, unfortunately. But now, especially like when the story was told and even after Locked Up, I know a lot of people, even probably from this interview, 
probably people are going to cop go cop it or go download the songs that he released from that first album and stuff and even released like one music video but again didn't really go anywhere unfortunately until now until now and especially in once he released locked up and stuff yeah 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 so uh, for sure Akon, akon's the goat yeah yeah and it's um yeah. it, it is such a like interesting thing to be on it since we're uh this year it marks the uh 50th anniversary of hip-hop in general so it's it is like a wondrous thing to have talked okay. about that yeah. and also even the most interesting thing i've often thought was really cool to know that it was also like worldwide like outside of not even just like states like where i'm from louisiana and where you're from is texas but also outside the united states like it re it literally reached everywhere else as well not even just of like videos i've done previously but just literally like in general it's like yeah like the the thing of rap it reaches everywhere and it's just like it's 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 a it's a really big deal and it, it really has it really has went a long way though for sure i absolutely agree man hip-hop is like america's top export yep oh man most definitely man. but uh yeah we don't have to get into that <laughs> but yeah um, yeah yeah dude, yeah man. i understand so um let's see here so I guess like on this note, as far as uh, is there any other like musical genre that you like as well? As far as far as hip hop, like is there other things that you like listening to at just any yeah. time and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I listen to a lot of jazz. Mm. I listen to a lot of jazz music, man. You um, like jazz? <laughs> yeah, man. I, I love me some Nina Simone. Uh, I just started listening to Sarah Vaughn. All she, right. She's like a she's like a jazz singer too. Um, you know Duke Ellington, John Coltrane, uh, Gary Mulligan. Um, I've been loving some Chet, some Chet, uh, Chet Fake, Chet Baker. Chet Baker. Okay, Baker. I've heard of that name. Even Nia Simone, it, I've heard that name before as well. Yeah, it's Chet Baker. You're right. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, man. So like, I have very heavy jazz influences, but plus, I like really like indie music you yeah, know like kind of like indie pop you know right, or like right. or like indie rock you know, or you know just different mixtures of that uh i love psychedelic rock you know mm. like 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 you know that's kind of what uh that's kind of like what uzi and them are all on and whatnot yeah, but yeah, yeah. i i love um i love all types of music i've found appreciation for all types of music man even right. even like the hard hardcore screamo rock you know mm -hmm. like it's all yeah. expression metal you yeah. know yeah and uh i i definitely listen to i do i even like french music you know like it, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's weird i like the yeah. i like the vibe of it you know yeah. um and you know they say french is like the language of love and all that so you know just just, just hearing that with some with some piano and some saxophone, right. you know what I'm saying? Over it, like it's just it's beautiful as fuck. Like uh, there is uh I remember there was uh a French rap group that I remember. Unfortunately, I can't really remember their name, but once uh I'm gonna probably show like an image here of who they are and even put a description of who they are. I remember they had like this cool song in 1999 where they were like playing with now over there they call it a football. They were playing with a football and like they were just busting rhymes and everything was like it literally felt like hype williams directed it and at the same time it was just like everything was just going on at once i'm like oh i love this this is this is awesome um yeah dude yeah yeah i agree there's so much there's so much out there to discover right and to speaking, appreciate sorry so speaking of um of things in cinema and also uh, stuff like television show within music, do you have like favorite stuff of stuff that's like music or do you just like, like, like watching like cinematic and like television shows with or without music, you know, genre based wise? Um, you know, I, I mean, I watch movies and stuff. I mean, like, 
as far as like inspirationally and stuff yeah i usually there's not I don't, i'm not really too into the cinematic i mean i like music videos yeah like you know that's cool um i'm trying to think you know i like quentin, quentin tarantino movies you know I, I feel like there's something poetic about that extreme violence and like I mean, just the way he makes his movies is uh, right, right. is very is very interesting. But I mean, other than that, man, I don't I don't really watch too much TV. If I'm being honest, yeah. Uh, uh, as of as of late, I watch podcasts and stuff, but it's all of like <laughs> so, uh, like personal development and like self help. Okay. Yeah. Psychology, you know, spirituality, shit like that, man. Like that, that's really been getting me like stimulated as of late. Right, like I don't right. really watch. You know, I don't really watch too much. Uh, you know, Entertainment, TV. per se, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, to be honest, like, if I am having a lazy day, yeah, I'll probably put on Netflix, you know, but yeah. I, I, I never feel like, I never feel... It just doesn't entertain me anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just, if it's, if it's not helping me right or helping right. my development like or yeah. even creatively like stimulating me I, i'm not gonna watch it so i feel you man i feel i feel you i feel you um yeah speaking of quentin tarantino it's interesting that next year it's going to be i believe 30 years since he released the film uh pulp fiction even though i would say wow. Right around this time, like it's probably been thirty years since they probably filmed it and all that stuff. <laughs> but like next year is where um it's all gonna be released. So um now we're going to move on to favorites and first. So I guess um as far as music and stuff, do you know what was like the first type of music you listened to and what would be your favorite type of music? Um, okay, that's like a two part question. Um, so the first type of music I probably listened to was like maybe some jazz or maybe like uh I had that person on my tip of my tongue. Cause I imagine my grandparents were around or or maybe like some R and B or something, you know, was probably around. Oh, mm -hmm. and I think my first like actual uh, when I the first time I became a fan, yeah, was the Backstreet Boys. Okay, all right. And and we don't have to get into the Backstreet Boys. And, I and, mean, and yeah, because everybody. All that. Knows, I know, yeah. But but yeah, dude, dude, I was I was crazy about them, bro. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy, crazy. I had my own like little Walkman and whatnot, and I just mm. go around like singing the singing the back the Backstreet Boys. Um, so I do remember that too. So that's like a memory of mine, you know. Yeah. Is 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 listening to that, and um, and then you say my favorite type of music. Yeah, I know we kind of touched on that a little bit, but you could make it like yeah. I guess short. <laughs> I mean, shoot, dude, I don't really have a favorite type of music. It's like, you know, I feel like music is like mood you know it's a yeah. whole spectrum and some you days feel you right, feel right. a certain way and you vibrate to a specific sound and some days you feel another way and you're like okay I'm like bro i want to listen to fucking sad music all day you know uh i don't really have a favorite but i've noticed that i have like uh like soulful connection with jazz music yeah you know? yeah so um, it calms me down, man. Right. So it one of me, our uh, one of our like second to last questions from this is uh what would be your favorite type of food that you like to eat? Uh damn, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I love me some Italian food. All right. I'll probably put Italian food up there mm. for my favorite types of food. And I love me some Mediterranean food too, man. I feel like Mediterraneans, they got that shit 
going. Right, right. You know, I like the, I, I like the, I like the Tabula. No. Tabula. Uh, you know, they, they're really heavy on like olive oil and, and, yeah. and like, and like, and like grains and rice yeah, and like yeah. vegetables and like. Oh, most definitely, man. I don't know. It just feels fresher. So, All right. ooh, I love, I love, I love Asian food too, man. Like Chinese, <laughs> Japanese, fucking Taiwan. Dumpling. Yeah. I love fucking, the snacks. Well, it's the Korean. Yeah. I don't have a favorite, man. I, 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 like, that's another one that's hard, you know? Like, <laughs> it's okay. But uh, Asian food's up there. Asian food's up there. Gotcha. Right. So, I've heard that also, like, the EP has dropped that is called... I'm, I'm sorry that I'm forgetting, dude. Uh, the EP no, it's fine. Dropped, what was, hmm? It's called Illusions. Illusions. Do you have, like, a yes. favorite track from that song that's been recently released from there? So, I did drop Illusions, uh, my first EP back in July. It's everywhere. It's, it's streaming on uh, every platform. Um, it's a four song EP and it came from pain. Nah, it, 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 it definitely came from me having to go through the challenges of life and figuring out how can I get all of this energy out of me, you know, like right. I have all this, I have all this tension built up. Right, from right. all these things going on in my life yeah how how can i how can i ex how can i externalize it somehow you know like like and 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 heal from it from yeah. putting it out you know so oh. that's where this ep came from um nice and uh and what were you gonna say i was like i was saying like one of my favorite uh eps from it was uh no limitations Oh, favorite songs on there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No limitations. That's the last one. Um and I'm gonna be honest, man, that's probably up there for my favorite one as well. <laughs> that's probably my favorite one as well because man, I I'm really trying to just I'm really trying to uh, preach. I don't wanna use preach, but you're trying, I'm trying to, to like state, self. I see what you're talking about. I'm trying to self empower people. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm, I'm trying to empower people to see that they're conscious creators in their lives and not right. victims. You know, right? And, right. and 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 show people that they have an inexhaustible amount of power inside mm. of them. You know yeah. that. If you just dig, if you just, if you just, I don't want to like dig deep sounds kind of corny, but if you just like go into your mind, sit, if you, if you sit with that, yeah. you know, you can know that whatever you truly believe will manifest, will happen, you know? So I just want people to know that they are creators, you know, yeah. that they are absolute creators in their life. Nice. And, and I love that song, dude. That song has got me through so much because mm. I was asking very deep questions during that time. And I was looking for things outside of me to fill me, you know, to fill the void. Yeah. And I realized that I'm not separate like I thought I was, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm really, you know, I'm really, I don't know how to say this. I think it's like you're really spiritual, Basically, right? Well, I don't want to, like, I guess you could say that, but I'm saying at my core, like, right. at my core is, is, is unity, right? Unity, you know? yeah. Is unity, yes, is yeah. oneness, you know? Yeah. And, and that song just reflects that, I was reaching for things, reaching for people, you know, and yeah. it turned out that it was all smoke, you know, it right. was all fairy dust. Yeah. It, it was, it was something that dissolves that hmm. it, once you yeah. put your hand on it, it's gone, you know? Yeah. yeah. So no limitations 
I really, I really would like everyone to go and check that song out, you know, and tell me what it makes you feel, you mm. know, tell me the emotions you get from that song. And you can, you, you can shout me out. Um, uh, my Instagram is underscore M A N I L L Y Manili. Um, yeah. and let me know what emotions you feel when you hear that joint. You know what I mean? Because I'm just trying to spread. I'm just trying to spread the love, man. Spread the power, bro. And uh, like, that's really all I care about, man. It's all good. So, um, now it it feels like we gotta like part ways, but I'm super happy to have you here, and I can't wait for like new projects that are coming out too. So this is where we're gonna take our leave, and this is where I'm gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. Take care, man. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And for the shout-outs today is not only Manili, but also Downheart for basically setting this special interview with us. But also, also, we got Devo the Conde, Keep VK, Jazz and Jazz the Empath. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And our next one is really coming soon. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. Talking fun with Edo. Bye.